Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, this week I was asked by a friend to do a galaxy type pour um, in very specific colors. So um, what I have chosen is the turquoise green, this gorgeous blue, Quartz Blue by Treasure Gold. Purple Topaz by Treasure Gold. Deco Art Americana Metallics in the Pearl. And I'm using Oxide Black. So all of my colors are mixed with a pouring medium that a friend of mine and myself have uh, created and this is what the packaging looks like it's called mix pour it's a thicker version of US Floetrol and I don't know what I would do without it so my paints are actually in a consistency where they are very thick your stick can stand up in it and I, I literally don't know what I would do without it. It is, it is the best ever. It leaves an awesome sheen at the end. Um, I've only been sealing my paintings with Kamar varnish instead of using, you know, 2X or resin or all the things. So um, let's get this cup poured out and see how it goes. I'm going to start with this gorgeous blue quartz. I'm going to put a little bit of pearl on top of that. I'm going to leave that over there because it's going to be my in-betweener color. And then I'm going to put some of that turquoise green. And, oh, I didn't show you this one, sorry. Um, this is Thalo Blue, Amsterdam, mound on a mound on a mound. I must have put that paint away. And I'm gonna do a little bit more pearl. And then I'm gonna add this purple quartz or purple topaz, I'm sorry, purple topaz. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of black. And then I'll go through my colors again. This color, it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just love it. Put a little bit more of that pearl. So this purple topaz, the metallic of it is just gorgeous. And I'm going to do some black again. I'm going to change them up a little bit here at the end. Thalo in after the blue, and I'll put a little bit of this turquoise green. And I have to be careful about putting the purple in. Got to add a little barrier in there. Then I'm gonna set my cups aside, and I'm going to do a quick, deep pour into the center with the black from up high. I'm 
going to try to let that sink down in there. All right. I'm going to empty this cup, pour it in the middle. Son is downstairs gaming with friends. I can hear them down there just cracking up. But because of COVID, I have to tell you, it's only two friends and it's people that he works with. So he sees them all the time anyways. All right. We're gonna pour this out and see how it goes. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go up high and bring it down. Bring it up high again. These colors look really great together. All right. Now I went ahead and oh, wow. I went ahead and made an oxide black flow extender. And what I use for this to keep it this nice thin consistency is I used our other product uh, called Mix Thin. I used it in my Dutch pour last week. And so there's no water in here. It's just thin on its own. So I'm going to Pour that around. I'm going to save my cup so I can get my edges, but I'm going to pour it around the outside. Scrape it out over in this corner. spread it out with my omelet turner. This is just so that my paint won't fold over itself because this is gorgeous right now. The little wing action I've got going on in the middle. The colors are very galactic. I'm kind of digging it. This one's for you, G.I. John. G.I. John and I have been friends since I lived in Texas, and we had season tickets to the minor league hockey team, the Texas Stars, and he sat behind us. You know, you meet a lot of crazy people being a hockey fan, and you meet a lot of great friends. I miss my Texas hockey friends very much currently living in Ohio. I know you ask, why would anybody move from Texas to Ohio? Well, my husband's job wanted him here. So we follow. Got to go where the money is, right? So, all right, after this, we're definitely going to torch it because, oh my, the bubbles. I 
I named all my hockey friends because you try to remember everybody at the same time. So if you give them names, you know, like the people next to us were Stacy and Ken, but when I first met them, I couldn't remember Stacy's name. And I decided to name her Malibu Stacy because she was with her husband, Ken. And we are still to this day very good friends, um, even all these miles apart. All right, we have got wonderful cells opening up here. This is so pretty right here. It looks like feathers. Okay, so again, I'm gonna find out what side do I like best, and I'm gonna go there first so I can kind of open it up and stretch it out. Um, I am liking this side more so than that side as far as being out on the edge. So I'm gonna come down this way first and I don't do that very often. But I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. I get my composition started. That blue treasure, the blue quartz, that is super cool. It's the first time I've ever used it. And I am in love. All right, as you can see, these are opening up and I am watching a lot of bubbles open up, so I am going to torch it again. giving me a halo around it. Kind of liking that. And I think I'm going to change my mind about where I go first. I'm going to try to elongate it this way first, but I'm just going to catch it on the edges and then I'm going to bring it back. Just to try to open the bands up a little bit. And then I'm going to come down to this corner. I'll turn it around so y'all can see. Get this cup out of my way. Isn't it funny how we all stop talking when we're tilting? Because we're so concentrated on making sure we don't mess it up. I'm gonna take it off that corner since I've got the weight of my paint already down there. I'm gonna bring it back. And because the weight of my paint's still down there, I'm gonna pull it off that way. All right, now that I've hit that, I'm gonna stretch those bands out. Ooh wee. this corner. And then I'm going to bring it all back. I'm going to turn it around first. And as I turn it around, I'm going to kind of help bring it back. Let's find out where the weight of my paint is. I'm gonna bring it back in this way. And I'm gonna go down to that corner. I'm gonna cut 
kind of walk it. This purple is so pretty. It really mixed in super nice with the other colors. this corner. It's helping open up my center. John didn't specifically ask for purple, but I think it helped I think it added a lot to this. He asked for greens and blues and blacks and whites. I don't think he'll be disappointed. Okay. I'm gonna pull it back again this way. I do not remember running my hand and letting it drip across this painting, but I definitely have a spot right here. And I don't know what I want to do with that. Um, hmm. Do I try and incorporate it? Do I leave it alone? What do I do? Um, because I'm loving this piece. I would hate to have to pour over it because of that. I would if I had to. But let's see what I can do. think that's okay. Fluid art. You can never mess it up, right? You can never mess it up, but it's only good if it's good to you, right? Okay, so my corners are actually all covered. Oh, this one. Just gonna finger dab it. I'm gonna check over here. Oh, I've just got a one little spot right here. Did a pretty good job of tilting this time. And I'm just gonna finger dab it over here. All right. One last torch. Take my gloves off. 
and then I'll bring you down for a close-up. So we're starting off here in the left hand corner, got some really cool cells, the lines, that pearl just added something to this along with the treasures. I love this right here. Super cool stuff. And you've got that corner up there. Got cells. It's like that pearl mixed with that black so nicely. That's super cool right there. This right in here is blue, but it's showing up as a pearl, and I don't know why. But as usual, I'll show you a dried result on Wednesday. This right up here is super cool too. And I've got this fun little corner right here. The lines are so nice. And pull it back out so y'all can see it again. And I thank y'all for joining me, and I will see you next week. Bye, y'all.